In Substance Painter, you are limited to render a still image. Unreal is great for creating a showreel for your assets. Uh, in this video, I'll show you a quick way to match your lighting in Unreal Engine to that of your Substance Painter file. You'll find the environment map you have used under the display settings. In my case, I've used the panorama environment map. Find this environment map in the asset library. Right click on it, show in explorer. Now this folder has all the environment maps. Now we cannot import them directly in Unreal as these are EXR files. We'll have to open it in Photoshop and save it as an HDR file to be compatible with Unreal. So just go in File, Save as an HDR. Save it someplace else. Uh, don't replace the file in your Substance folder. In Unreal, import the HDR you saved just now. You will see that it has been imported as a texture cube. Go to your skylight and change the source type to a specified cube map. Now you can drag and drop this to the cube map slot. Now below here you will find all the properties for the cube map that you can adjust. I'm going to speed up this part. I'm just setting up the asset in Unreal. Uh, you can use this time to set up your materials and textures. You'll need to create a similar mesh if you want a solid color backdrop for your object. You can also use the default planes in Unreal as well. So back in Substance, uh, if you go to the display settings, you will find the parameters for the environment map. We can use these values in Unreal to get a similar look to a substance file. So back in Unreal, change your source cube map angle to the angle of the environment rotation and substance. In my case, it is 301. Now after changing the angle, you'll see that the angle of the light is similar to that of Substance Painter. We'll have to rotate the backdrop to match this new lighting angle. I'm going to add a directional light to get a stronger shadow as well as light up the scene a bit. As you see, without it, the scene looks quite dark. Add a post process volume to the scene. Uh, to adjust the exposure. Also set the bounds to infinite. Now search exposure and set the minimum and maximum exposure to 1. This disables auto exposure. Set the mode to manual 
adjust the exposure compensation until you get a satisfactory result now create a camera cine camera actor i'm going to rename it to cam01 back in substance painter under the display settings scroll down under until you see the camera properties here you'll find the focal length of the camera in my case it's 17 mm we can copy this value in unreal to match our focal length now select your camera under the focus settings you can change your manual focus distance until your asset is in focus use the debug plane to adjust this value and turn it back off now that you have a matching camera to substance painter you can create a cinematic showreel for your asset that's it for the video i hope you found it helpful